Well, I, I come from a small village in the south of uh, South of Catalonia, and it's a very rural area. And basically, most of the people in my village they they work in the farms in the fields. My my grandfather was a farmer, and we still have the orchards, and my brother still goes there. And then when yeah, when I then I become become a scientist and start, started doing research and came up about this technology and that kind of everything connected. I never had a green thumb or anything like that. <laughs> um, but uh, when he actually called me about this exciting business uh, opportunity and then actually seeing on what the plants do on a chemistry level, because I'm a chemist by background, and that, that is actually what makes them grow, is really exciting and fantastic. And I mean, we all learn about photosynthesis in school, but actually seeing it happen and how we can improve it to make our plants grow better uh, is really exciting. So Gaia is a blend between the name of the Greek goddess for the earth, Gaia, and glucose, which is the materials we use to make our carbon dots. And yeah, the combination of both is, is Glia. So our product that can either be applied to the leaves or the roots help utilize more sunlight and as a result increase crop yields. Photosynthesis, if you would imagine, like the, the sun hits the, the leaf of the strawberry plant and then inside the leaf the energy from the sun is actually transformed into chemical energy which is then stored in these beautiful strawberries. But unfortunately this process is really, really inefficient and usually less than 1% of the sunlight that actually hits the leaf then is transformed into food. And we can process more energy, so more light that is captured on the leaves then can be transformed into fruits. We thought that the best way to make this, this technology a reality, something available for everybody, was to commercialize it. So that's when we decided to leave the labs, hang out the lab coats and go and, and start the company. One of the most significant moments uh, was last year during our first trials in strawberries. We got an amazing, almost 40% increase in, in yield. So we heard about something going on in Rothamsted. We thought it matched perfectly with, the, with what we wanted to do with our mission, which is fight climate change by making agriculture more sustainable. So it was the perfect match. I got all of the training which really opened my mind towards agriculture a lot more. So really widening my horizon a lot and yeah, just speaking to a lot of fantastic people and getting to know their network and tapping into it now. So Shake has helped us a lot to work out through all the different steps involved into the production of into our food production and the carbon footprint of each one of the steps and how they add up and how critical it is for us to try to reduce the carbon footprint for each one of these steps so we can make, uh, we can help making a, a future for, for our kids. Yeah.